Hey YouTube, uh, I am here at the Grand Prix Motel. It's a classy joint, but it was 29 bucks, so I can't quite beat that. Got a little bit more food. I want to thank uh, Jonathan, who I met at the um, Newfound Gap. <clears throat> Saw me hitching a ride. He is a through hiker from um, 2010. His uh, trail name was Crawfish. Anyway, I want to thank him for giving me a ride. He drove me to Walmart, drove me to my hotel, and we had lunch together. Wouldn't even let me buy lunch. That was uh, pretty sweet of him. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, yeah, yesterday was the hike up the Klingman's Dome and into, um, did, where was it, uh, Mount Collins. Um, so I went from Derrick Knob to Mount Collins, about f almost 15 miles. That was rough, seriously rough. I got in at um, <clears throat> around 4.30. I thought I was going to get in a lot later because, um, you know, it was uh, three or four miles from Klingman's Dome, and I <clears throat> was expecting to, it to take longer than it did. Um, and I was feeling miserable, but I uh, I ate some sugar and some uh, some Gatorade and felt great after, like, you know, after drinking that. It felt great after that. And pretty much blew right in. And um, <clears throat> I feel pretty good. My legs are tired. Today's going to be nice to just chill out for the rest of the day. Tomorrow I'm going to chill out for a couple hours, you know, and go back on the trail. Hike up to uh, ice water. Only about three miles. That should be pretty easy. Um, anyway, I appreciate you guys checking this out. Uh, let me show you all my stuff. It's all laid out. You can see. All laid out. I'm going to do my laundry. There it is right there. Some stuff, some food. I got more food. Um, I don't know if I was eating enough, so I'm going to just, I'm going to carry a little bit more weight and food. Um, you know, to be honest, I wasn't really hungry um, most of the time, but um, you know, I, I was pretty lucky. Got some more fuel. I was pretty lucky that I had um, some people <clears throat> in the first two shelters had extra food. They, they, you know, let me let me chow down as well. But uh, you know, I'm not gonna rely on that. I got I got plenty of food um, this time. I think I had plenty of food last time. I was just wasn't managing it very well. But um, you know, I'd get up in the morning and be like, I want to go, and then I would go without really eating very much, and then be freaking starving. Um, so I got something quick and easy. I got some pop tarts, it's easy um, to eat. I got some candy bars. This yakisoba, um, really easy to make. Um, um, I got some more hot chocolate, and I got some uh, more freezer bags. And, uh, this, some tuna. I need a. I did forget, however, to get some. Um, I forgot, however, to get um, tortillas. So I need to pick up some tortillas so I can make wraps because I got Nutella. Bam. Uh, you know, I may have a little bit more weight in food, but to be honest, my bag was pretty light anyway, and, and I don't, you know, it's not that big a deal. Bag carries well, so, um, you know, it's important to have enough food, and, um, you know, one or two days I felt absolutely miserable because I don't think I ate enough, um, you know, on the way, you know, as I was moving, and I think, uh, I think some variety will help me out a lot, you know, sticking to, um, M&Ms, you know, and, and Pro Bars just wasn't really cutting it. And plus, I get, you know, here it is four days later. I'm kind of sick of that stuff. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, that's it. I'm going to go do laundry. I'm going to go see if I can find some uh, stuff. Um, I, took a, I took a bath because the shower doesn't work. That kind of sucks. Um, but anyway, um, I need to wash some stuff up. And I uh, will uh, back on the trail. See ya.